Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Classic Who reaction. We are on to The Faceless Ones, episode de, and this is a recon. I'm actually really gutted. Um, I really, really enjoyed the first episode of this story. Excuse my hair, it is so hot today that I just can't be bothered to do anything. Um, it is so, so hot. If there's any background noise, I'm sorry, but the neighbours are having an extension put on and it's a Saturday. Um, so it's a bit annoying that they're working, but I'm just going to shut up now because y'all aren't here to hear me rant about a blinking extension. But it's so hot. Oh my God. Where did you learn such excellent English? I had an English governess. Would you mind telling me what's happening? Nothing that need concern you, miss. Everything's perfectly in order. Now, if you'd just like to go through there. Thank you. John. Polly, wait. Just a minute, young man. Oh, but she's a friend of ours, and she saw the mud dirt. You're going to wait here until the superintendent she saw the arrives. Now, understand that. I... JB, I don't think we're very welcome here. Uh. When I say run, we run. Hello, super. Commandant. I've got a couple of illegal entrants here. Yes. Immigration, desk number five. Run! Call that. Situation changed. They've just made a run for it. I'll give you their description. Who are you? It's a name that could equally be applied to people as well. Uh -huh. Change their personalities to suit their own ends. But it was young people between the ages of 18 and 25. Oh, why? Oh, yes, there's something strange going on here. Dr. Jamie! Ben, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Well, that's a relief. Well, what happened to you two? And where's Polly? We It takes the face of someone. Is he all right? It's very intimate. Well, what is this, please? It's a machine that takes your photograph. A photograph? Well, you see, you've got no, your... No, no. What puzzles me is this girl pretending to be Polly, yet, yet in a way she is Polly. She thinks she's been brainwashed. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Jimmy, we've got to find out more about these chameleon youth tours. Because that's not going to look suspicious when three men leave the photo booth. Postcard from Brian posted in Rome. Yes, that does seem odd, doesn't it? Um, would you like to, me to make some inquiries for you? No. Well, what do you think I've come all the way down from Liverpool for? Well, since you've put the matter with the police, why have you? The police? They say that dozens of people go missing every week and they haven't got the men to go chasing after them all. Nice use of a um, bit of footage from... Uh... Old one. Go on, Ben. Nah. Mm -mm. Is she dead? Hello. 
I was not expecting that. Traffic control, but I want to speak to a friend of mine who should be with the commandant right now. She fit. Doctor, I'd like you to meet this young lady. What young lady? Where's Polly? But why wouldn't you listen to it? It's all true. I'm in the comedian hangar now, and I've just Ben. Ben, can you hear me? Oh no, not Ben. Ben, can you hear me? Ben, are you all right? Can you hear me? Ben. Ben. Ben, can you hear me? If you're coming here, we better oh, be you're all tossers. First, dispose of the body. If you, if Ben is killed, who is he? Well, his name is Brian Briggs. He's supposed to come through here about a week ago on holiday. Oh, oh Somebody help me, please. I'm suffocating. <gasps> Don't. Don't. What? <gasps> no. Don't go. gonna freeze him right so let's talk about something I don't understand the point of them taking people for essentially freezing their body to then put fake versions of them back out there like what's the point and also, you know that the faceless one turned into the other guy? Where did the faceless one come from? They don't just have them stored. So many questions. Um, excuse the banging. I am loving this story. Like, as kind of said in my Q&A, and it's kind of becoming apparent to me now, particularly in Classic Who, that I'm really loving the episodes that are based on Earth, because it's being based in what I assume to be present day then. Well, it's amazing for me because I'm getting to see the 60s, which I obviously I wasn't there, so... Um, I love it when it's when it's on Earth in Classic Who because I just I love that era. It's it's incredible. Um, Samantha Briggs is being played by the lady that played Queen Victoria in Tooth and Claw. Um, it took me a while because originally I thought it was the nurse, but then the nurse was too old, um, and then I recognised her by her voice. What else is there to say? So the doctor's frozen. Where's Ben? Oh, yeah, Ben's been shot. What I was also thinking was, I hope that now they're not back in the present day that Ben and Polly will think, oh, we'll, we'll go back home. Because I feel like Ben loves this. I, I honestly feel like Ben is just in his element. So I couldn't imagine Ben wanting to stay. Maybe Polly will stay. Um, but yeah, I always think when they're back in the back in the time that they should be, that one of them's just gonna say, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay, which I hope I've re I'll, I'll be gutted. But let's hope that doesn't happen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back very soon. Bye.